Tom Lacey wins the Small Breeder of the Year award tonight, but his achievements over his lifetime have been numerous. He started his career riding 50 winners on the flat, but he was best known as a jockey through his association with the top jumps race mare, Height of Fashion. First year I rode my first winner about 73 years ago in the Phoenix Park. Yeah, I rode a Cesare with winner in the year after. And uh, well, that's true. Race racer, he was second twice in, in the national to Arkel and Flying Boat. Second is to them. A successful switch to training saw Tom train hundreds of winners around Ireland and among his best were Scroll and Bodell, from whom Tom bred group winning sprinter Ingabel, who he trained to win the Keeneland Phoenix Sprint Stakes at the Phoenix Park. Ingabel, well we bred her, bred her and trained her and won listed and group races with her and then we sold her, John O'Connell bought her, John O'Connell bought her. Bally Lynch, and he, had, he was very lucky with her. She had very good horses, very good animals, yeah. I mean, Tom epitomises the small breeder. He bred his own, he trained them, um, his sons rode them, uh, Tony and Barry. Dad is possibly the hardest working person that I've ever known. Um, he's 87 now, and he's as busy now as he was when he was 37. He, he, he's always taught us punctuality, get on with it, you know. He just taught you the basics, the proper basics, do the, do, do the small things right and the rest will follow. Tom provided his sons Barry and Tony with many victories on the track in the famous lacy colours of light blue and yellow. And he was also the first man to spot and nurture the talents of local boy Pat Smullen, guiding the legendary rider to two apprentice championships while riding for Tom. Uh, he gave Pat a great start on many of his homebreds in, in, in Pat's at the very start of his career. So um, we go back a long way. In latter years, Tom has concentrated on breeding and his purchase of Vida Amoroso has proved inspired. The Lope de Vega mare bred Gubas as her first foal, but her second foal proved to be a real star in the shape of Persian Force. It's Persian Force, a couple of lengths clear. Show respect is chasing, but he's chasing in vain. Persian Force, an irresistible force, wins the July stakes. The first foal she had was a, a smashing foal, and he said we'll go back again, which I never go back the second time, and that's what, that, that we had. Purchase uh, force, yeah, you know, so it's just funny how he came around, but that's how he came. You know, this area, to have three group one winners bred in this area last year is, uh, you know, that's just been phenomenal as well. His family are doing so well as well, you know, you, ha you have Tony, uh, Vice President of Keeneland, um, and Barry, you know, I think he's going to be a name to watch in the bloodstock industry in the future as well. Barry and I do the whole thing. Do everything, yeah. We get on well most times, yeah. It's a usual father-son relationship. We disagree on a lot of things. But we finally decided that's way is the best way we do that way, the first way, and then we'll go back and do it in the second way, maybe. But we got on really well, actually, yeah. I have a um, brother, Tony, and three other sisters, and he's been, he's been great to all of us, you know? So... Uh, it's only when you become a parent that you realise how much your parents do for you, you know. Ably assisted by his family over the years, especially his wife Peg. She is just the backbone of them all. Uh, I mean, when Pat started riding, Peg was acting as his agent, um, uh, his mum as well at times, you know, you know, when he's because he spent so much time over in the Lacey's, so... Um, you know, Peg is obviously the, a great woman behind a great man. I don't know where Dad would be without Mum, uh, because they worked really, really well together. And um, 
yeah, mum has been fantastic. She really has. Oh, well, only for her she'd be, <laughs> be in trouble. <laughs> Well, this could not be a more prou prouder moment uh, to congratulate my dad on something that's, you know, a lifetime of, of effort is breeding, training. Uh, but, you know, over the last year with Persian Force, you know, been have, having the, the opportunity to sponsor the Phoenix Stakes and the Kura and having him and all my family there as well as, a, as the breeder of Persian Force. Fortunately, didn't win that day, but it's uh, to which an achievement that, uh, that we all valued so much. And again, it was a culmination of a, of a lifetime of effort. And again, to, for, to be here in my new workplace of Keeneland, to be hosting the Breeders' Cup and the first Breeders' Cup race, having Persian Force run on it, again, for a small breeder, it's a massive achievement and uh, could not be more proud. Tom Lacey has had a hugely successful life and career as one of Ireland's finest horsemen.